Welcome friends. I came today to share with you a favorite recipe we have here um, in Nova Scotia for vegan carrot lox. You may have heard of lox and bagels where a smoked um, piece is laid on a bagel with cream cheese and dill and it makes for a lovely appetizer. So today we're going to make carrot lox and for this you need carrots and you'll see I have the greens. We're going to have the bonus of using the greens in a second recipe. Um, so it's a two for one day. So we need carrots, two carrots, we need olive oil, we need liquid smoke. This may not be a common thing where you are. Um, so specialty store liquid smoke you will need lemon juice so i have a lemon you'll need salt and peppercorns not pepper but peppercorns um, and when it comes to serving you'll need cream cheese a vegan variety and dill so let's get started on the carrot locks um, i have peeled one carrot and i will show you once we have the outside peel off, we then, I use another peeler that gives a nice strip and we strip the whole carrot into thin pieces. You can see how thin it is, very flexible. And I do two carrots that way. These are lovely carrots fresh from our garden and that's why we found a recipe to use the carrot tops so there's no waste of any of the vegetables. So just finish this one up and what I'm going to do with these very thin slices of carrot now is to take them over and put them in a double boiler and boil them for five minutes. Just five minutes to soften them. And while they are boiling, we're going to make a sauce that the, they will bake in. So I have a little jar. I'm going to put in three tablespoons of olive oil. One, two, three, one teaspoon of liquid smoke. I sometimes put a bit more in because we like the taste here in Nova Scotia. I need to squeeze my lemon. We need one tablespoon, which is usually half a lemon. of salt. I'm just going to measure it in. Nice Mediterranean salt. And that's the, the baking sauce. So I usually put it in this jar so I can shake it up. Have it well mixed. And with the peppercorns we are now ready to construct, once the five minutes is up, to construct our carrot blocks with this and the peppercorns. Great, we're now ready for the second phase of our carrot blocks, which is to bring the carrots to The, t the counter where we have a dish, peppercorns, and the sauce we made. And we're going to create layers. Um, of carrots. 
I also turned carrots, peppers, and some sauce, and we keep repeating that. And while the carrots were cooking, I turned the oven to 350, and so it's warm and ready for us. Second layer, some peppercorns, sauce, and the last layer we'll put in. Put all those beautiful carrots into the little casserole dish because it's going into the oven. A few more peppercorns on top of that one. And then the final bit of sauce covered for 15 minutes. So in the oven it goes. So we now have the lox in the oven baking for, at a very low heat, 350, for 15 minutes. And while that's there, we're making best use of our whole vegetable. So I'm making in this blender two cups of carrot tops to start. And while I was preparing the carrots, I gathered together the other ingredients, which includes some, quite a bit of olive oil, pumpkin seeds, parmesan, salt and pepper, and um, a lovely, a lovely flavor of uh, celery and cabbage with some hing in it, which gives a beautiful flavor anything like this. So we have the carrot tops, the cabbage and celery, and now it is about two cups of carrot tops and about a quarter cup of the cabbage and celery. And now we want about a third of a cup of pumpkin seeds. So I'm going to put the rest of that little bag in and a half a cup of olive oil. Seems like a lot, but that's what pesto is like. And then a half cup of Parmesan cheese. Unfortunately, I don't have vegan Parmesan, so this would not be something I would give to my vegan friends, um, but you can get so we're doing a half cup of our Parmesan in there. And then the only additional thing is salt and pepper. So again, a nice Mediterranean salt. About a quarter of a teaspoon, an eighth of a teaspoon. And same of pepper. And that's it. So the carrot tops, um, some pumpkin seeds, celery and cabbage to make a nice hing um, combination, the olive oil, the Parmesan cheese, salt and pepper. And then I'm going to put it on my blender here till it's well beaten, probably about a minute on high. So we've just finished with our carrot top pesto on the blender 
and spun it up really fine as you can see well blended and I'm going to take it out of the blender put it in an attractive bowl there it is beautiful so all of those pumpkin seeds and carrots lots of good nutrition in that for us so once I have that out um, I'm going to use crackers today and put a little bit it's going to be an appetizer but the pesto can be used for uh, pasta dishes for sauces on other things be traditional about it things you would use uh, basil pesto for so that's your pesto and while we've been making that the carrot locks have been chilling in the refrigerator so i'm going to get those now here they are and so we have the pesto and now we have our carrot locks and so I've taken some vegan cream cheese and put it on the crackers as a second set of appetizers there we go and then I take the carrot, a piece for each cracker, and put a peppercorn on top, or two, and then some fresh dill from the garden. If you can get fresh dill, it just tops it off lovely. So there's our appetizers, our carrot locks, and our pesto on crackers.